30 seconds hard coherence. You want to do that? Well, but the majority was in the meditation, better not. Okay, I'll sleep just whatever you feel guided to do. Okay. Agreed. Let's connect with our heart because Stanley was not in the meditation. Okay? All right, so. I didn't hear what you said. We are going to get connected with our hearts for uh, 30 seconds. Okay? So it's very easy. What we do is we close our eyes if we, if we want to, and we put our attention, we switch our attention to our hearts while we are breathing, and we are going to pretend we are breathing through our hearts. So pretend that your breathing is going in and out through your chest. And as you pay attention to your heart, you think about someone, or it could be a, a lovely being, it could be your pet or someone that you really love. You will remember this face that just to think about it make you want to smile. And then you will nourish this feeling in your heart. This wonderful feeling. And then you start to see that this feeling is coming out of your heart and going towards this person that is in your mind. It's embracing, hugging this person. And then you you will be thankful and grateful for the love and care you received from this person or this path. Just be thankful for their presence in your life and feel this warm sensation in your heart for a couple of seconds. And bring your attention back to your heart and back to your breathing. And come back here and open your eyes whenever you feel ready to do so. I know who you were thinking. I know oh, yeah. who, yes. <laughs> I was doing some serious work. <laughs> Why what I said to you wasn't serious? No, okay. I'm telling you, I was doing some serious work. Okay. I thought you were thinking about your cat. I was just joking. No, no. no. he was not. Who? Okay. I was, I was thinking of my coworker. I'm having some difficulties with a coworker. Oh. And so I was trying to actually like just transcend wow. like, the anger that I sort of tend to feel like because he's just kind of an angry guy and trying to just send him love. And wow. I'm really trying, I'm trying hard. <laughs> that's, that's great. Actually this, in this meditation, you go first, you think about one person and then you bring a group of person, your family, and then you bring your coworkers, your family and friends. And then in the next phase, you bring that person that you're not, you know, having a great relationship with. Just, and then you I bring a group right of people. Yeah. <laughs> you're fancy. You're fancy. Good job, Steve. Good job. It's, it's progress, not perfection. <laughs> All right. So this, so we are here for those that are listening to us. We are studying What is the Spiritism by Allan Kardec, and we are in the second chapter, which is this skeptic. And tonight we're going to talk about mental disease, obsessive thoughts, and suicide. Mm -hmm. So, from what I've read here, this was a big deal back then. To it's, it's still a big deal. It, well, then we are very, like... Well disguised because they don't see us, huh? 
<laughs> they don't see the crazy people easily. That, from what I've read here and interpret, this was a big deal. They were connecting or at least trying the critics and the news and the tabloids. They were trying to connect mental disease with the spiritualism of people that were going to a spiritual center or a spiritualism. So they, they were saying that the cause was the practice of communicating with the spirits or studying the the nature of the spirits, reincarnation, etc., etc. And interesting, because just last Wednesday we had the lecture about mediumship. And exactly, I took a note of that. Yeah, <laughs> actually, you guys can watch it online, right on the Facebook here, the Broward Spirit Society Facebook. It's um, there was a talk. I think that was Wednesday, April 29th. Uh, yeah, April 29th. it was with the Luigi. Last yes. The Luigi and it was uh, mediumship and mediumship and insanity. Hmm. So if you guys want to watch a very interesting uh, talk. Twenty six. And yeah. it's in English? Wednesday the 26th. It's in English. <laughs> what do we do? Just a Facebook, uh, spirit, go to Facebook? Broward Spirit Society at Facebook, there is a page. They have a page. Not the group, because there is a Broward Spirit Society group, but the page. On the page, there is a session right on top, okay. in the beginning, okay. the videos. Cool. And it's a recent one. So, one with Luigi. So, you will see uh, mediumship and insanity, and it's totally connected mm -hmm. to this. I think it shows my picture in the thumbnail because I was introducing him. So, oh, I see all serious. Your, face on it. your like, picture's in a lot of the, uh, like the Tuesday and the Wednesday. I get a, I get a run. So, he's, he's very a, popular. He's a representative for us. <laughs> so, anyway. He is very popular. So, yes, he is. Selling point. <laughs> Kardec, <laughs> what? Do you guys remember what was the link that Kardec was giving to the mental disease, to what was the answer, the main link to the mental disease to, with those practice? Do you remember? He was saying it was the predisposition. When, there is, when a predisposition exists, it takes on the characteristics of a fixed idea. What does that mean? What I got out of it was whatever we, we fixate on becomes larger in our life. So if we fixate on spiritism or God or his phone making that noise, <laughs> whatever we focus on seems to expand and take up more room in our mind. And conversely, if we focus on other things that are bothering us, whatever, then that will consume a more space. Right. Isn't that right? Don't we see that these days? Can anyone think of an example that we are facing these days where people get obsessed with an idea and they... This. <laughs> Access. People's, people's electronics. Oh Be my God. Don't, don't, oh. We, don't we read about uh, people that go to the hospital because they are obsessed it's with uh, their cell phone or video games. Have you ever heard of this kind of news? And all the, the problems with the eyes, which is a very dangerous thing if you... And the neck, there's a new condition now. Yeah. yeah. And kids, yes. Kids are getting it. Yeah. Yes, because of this down. position. Mm -hmm. This yeah. position. Right. Yeah. So does that mean that being fixated on the spiritual development could also be a bad thing? Mm -mm. Who would like to answer to that? Yeah, there's, there's too much variety. I think the difference we're talking about is a single thing and a single focus and obsession. Uh, in the case of spiritism, you're going to be learning for a very long time. You continue uh, having different ideas and aspects you know, of the spiritism and what it's teaching us. Right? So it's not a little one thing. It's a huge dynamic of our growth. That's my I agree. I think it's every case we should 
you should get more information. Do you have a like a palpable kind of example of someone that you? No, I. I guess uh, it was a question because I agree with uh, uh, Donna when she said that whatever we focus on, it grows on our on ourselves. So mm -hmm. I guess I was wondering if, and and you were commenting on the negative aspect uh, mm -hmm. of it, or you know mm -hmm. some negative aspects of that. Of becoming insane about our spiritual development is that a risk uh, or it, not? it is a risk and uh, it's part of uh, dropping the veils dropping your uh, the threat of your identity losing your identity losing your what you were told you what you are that's your physical you're a American that you're a your countryman that's your identity and spiritually, you kind of shed those, and that's where the insanity kind of could could set in, because you don't want to lose that. You grabbing onto your intellect, and spiritualism is is is, is letting go. Spiritism. So, in your view, it's something we should strive for. It's a it's um it's when you're ready, because we don't want people going insane. I think that's 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 not the goal, but it's uh, finding yourself. Otherwise, someone's going to define you, defining what you really are. I'm, it's, we're all searching for that. And either someone else is going to define you or you're going to define yourself. So that, that's a struggle between those two concepts, and that's where sanity could, could follow. I like this concept. Who else would like to add, Steve? Well, I think what you know, Alan Kardec was talking about was he wasn't saying that, like, I'm going to become a spiritist, I'm going to become crazy about it, and I'm going to mm. go, like, insane because I'm just, like, he was kind of saying that, like, some people are kind of crazy already. And, <laughs> and they can That's choose just saying. about... That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. They can choose just about anything. Like, they could, they, could, could be they could join the military and be, like, crazy about war, or they could, like, yeah. get into politics. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Obsessive yeah. predisposition, yeah. and it happened yeah. in any religion, in anything. Mm -hmm. it could, right. I mean, yeah. yeah. And it, it, it is, it can be a mental condition, mm -hmm. and, you know, like people that have OCD, you know, if they if they get involved in something that's going to feed into that predisposition, then it's developed. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this, let me ask you guys, as it just came up as, as an example. If someone is going to drink a heavy liquor for the first time, is there... Is it dangerous, like, if that person has the predisposition to be an alcoholic? Yes, and uh, I have even heard about other drugs. So, you know, with the whole marijuana thing going on, right? There's a lot of states that are allowing it for medical purposes. But there are people that have predisposition. Like, most people will go and smoke it and not have any issues, but... Some people that do have a predisposition for a mental illness, if they do smoke it or have contact with it, they end up with schizophrenia after one or two hits. So again, it's going back to that um, bottom line that all of us already have. You know, it's like that. Uh, even yeah. in our DNA, yeah. we're predisposed yeah. to certain yeah. things. Once you become a pickle, you can never be a cucumber again. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> no, you can become an idiot. Did you, is, he, is your friend? Is he your friend? Did you yeah, invite him? Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. Yeah, yeah I, now I can never look at a pickle the same way again. <laughs> it's stuck that way. You can't, you can't get on pickle. Anyways, but yeah, and then it's sugar too. Sugar too. Sugar too. There sugar is a there is a problem sugar if the child has a predisposition for obesity. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous to try sugar. It could be like a no return kind of disease. Yes. Wow. Well, you combine sugar with the caffeine and with the oh, drugs yeah. and yeah. yeah. So all Anything. this. Yeah. Could it shows how diverse we are. Schizophrenia. We each one have our own yeah. predispositions to exactly. something. So exactly. what he's talking about Positive. is about the predisposition to... It's the link with the spirituality. Mm -hmm. So Kardec is trying to say what we're talking about right here, mm -hmm. right? That 
Uh, no, it has nothing to do with that specifically. It doesn't mean that if you are going to do this, no, there is a percentage. Like, there is a percentage of people that, I don't know if you guys knew that, but 40% of the patients taking a treatment that, that is usual for a certain type of disease, 40% will that that treatment will not work as well as to the other patient so 40% of the patients that take the treatment that everybody else takes it will work it's even higher because there, there is other facts which is emotional mental and your lifestyle and there are so many things involved so we are this uh, we, we don't think so but it's a very a delicate right topic it's just to open so we just need to open up our hearts and mind to mm, I never thought about that but we see crazy people everywhere that's bottom line everywhere it doesn't matter I and because we are uh, dealing with psychology and if you like this topic you will find all strange things that you read every day and also because of the internet, we read strange things every day, everywhere. I think I yes. just want to add that we, you know, we're talking about an extreme. I right? we started out with this word insanity, so let's use a few words to define it. So it's a an obsessive fixation, right? So let's we'll talk about what it is. So that's an extreme, um, and so it's it's the opposite of when you have more than one thought, right? So which is the other extreme, having multiple, many thoughts. So we, we multiple learn... Multiple personalities and multiple, yeah. Well, no, I, I don't mean personalities. I yeah. just mean when you have fixation, obsessive fixation, that's, a, right. that's an a char mind. characteristic of it. Right. Right. And you're stuck. Just think of it that way. Um, so what we've also learned is when you're not, right, when you have the ability to learn and, and think and mm -hmm. speak about a variety of topics, then, you know, you're less susceptible to having a right, obsessive fixation. So I just want to make sure we're not getting off topic because we're really talking about sanity, which is this, an excessive fixation, which is very narrow and very extreme. I don't want to generalize kind of what we're starting to talk about. Yeah. Um, but but, but at, the same, so. at the same time, it's, it's, it's funny because a lot of the greatest minds that, that have lived were focused and obsessed with a certain thing. Like you, and people once viewed them as crazy. Like you look at Albert Einstein, people said he was crazy. You look True. at Isaac, Isaac Newton, they said he was crazy. You look at uh, Sigmund Freud, the famous psychologist, yes. he was crazy. But they were so focused and they were so brilliant. People just yes. couldn't comprehend what they were talking about, and but they were obsessed. So it's a very fine line. We talk, about yes. insanity, hey. we talk about insanity and obsession. Like they have a passion and an exactly. obsession, like a, almost like a like a purpose that they're just. Mm -hmm. It's like a magnet. Like they can't not do anything like else it. except for that. But yeah. today, would they call themselves and say no? I'll, it's just I'll an opinion. That's right. It doesn't yeah. mean they were. It's perspective, but, opinion. Yeah. Right. So that's it's another. Same. I, I like, like that. that what you said, that Reggie. Nice perspective, that, yeah. opinion. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what you say is so true, and uh, you. When you're when you're dividing the action insanity, and you know that from your your field, you know, um, when you're dividing insanity and obsession, you can be obsessed about something so small mm -hmm. and not be insane, mm -hmm. but you still have critical thinking. Correct. When you're insane, you, there's no more critical thinking. Mm -hmm. There's only one path. When yes. you're just obsessed, let's say I'm obsessed about coming up with an idea, right, or a concept. All right. If I if I want to come up with that concept, I'm gonna work my critical thinking around to get it. But a person that's obsessed, uh, that's insane, is never gonna. They're already convinced of something. Yes. You can't think of anything else. Wow, that's yeah. very yeah. good. Yeah. Really good point. Wow, that's so, a very good and, point. Yeah. So uh, wow. and I just want to throw out that I think we're all learning um, that uh, you mentioned Einstein and a few others. Well, they had friends, right? so they they were connected. Newton was a recluse, so yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was to help. <laughs> you know, I, w I remember when I was younger, um, I was really good at math, you know, and I was like my father, you know, he's, you know, so yeah, I got it from him, you know, thank goodness, you know, I'm glad that Newton and they all did that for us already, we didn't have to figure that out, but we should say this, and now I'm going, okay, and they had help too, right, so, wow, okay, let's go, let's go do some more stuff, so anyway, it's just exciting to me that, to know what we're talking about and the focus they had, they actually had help from spirits to help yeah. from their work, which is helping us 
or you know, right, right, right. In this, in this but it is good to time. always to you know to open up for other discussions and to bring always bring whatever we are reading in the spirits book or here to our daily lives and today we we can we are witnessing all these uh, obsessions about technology and all sort of things and also with the religion and you know all Politics. those mass killing and yeah. right uh, I was very surprised to learn that um, uh, uh, the majority of the uh, the the guys what is the name the terrorists they had nothing to do with the religion I was really surprised yeah. yes when they were searching their cell phones and their emails about Quran, about those, they didn't find anything. Well, that's from their perspective, so you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. True, and also what, I know that is, they, yeah. they probably, they're saying whatever they want to say, right. that they want to tell us. But anyways, but... It, I, you have to be more objective with, exactly. with your thoughts and your feelings. And exactly. But it, it was a surprise, and from one side it was a surprise, and the other side I was expecting that this had you know how people when they see a protest when they see people fighting and they had nothing to do with that fight but because they have this anger this hate inside them and they join that group that is fighting for some type of cause but they just go there to mess and to fight and they have nothing to do they just they just want to fight with someone you know and they just want to express their anger some, somehow, and they can't on, on a daily basis, so they go and join those groups. It happens too. What, Steve? Oh, you know, I was just thinking about, like, I've, I've had friends and stuff, you, you just see them on Facebook, so they, they pop up, you know, on your notifications, like, like you know, it's, it's like a good friend of mine, we have a good, you know, good conversation, but then they get on Facebook, and then you just see the stuff that they say to people, you know, and you're like, I can't believe you said that to me, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, call them out. Like, like people, yeah. people on the internet, they they have like the anonymity of being on the internet, and all of a sudden they they grow these you know wow. cojones. The they're, 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 they're trying to push buttons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their reactions so behind it. How the hiding comedians, behind. comedians are like that. Yeah. <laughs> True. I like the fact that Kardec was mentioning the U.S. here. He because he was talking about the tabloid that said that. 4,000 cases of spiritual insanity because of uh, the spiritism. It was a tabloid that was talking, and then Kardec was saying that, uh, what a joke, in the United States there are hundreds of thousands of spiritualists which, uh, whom we share interest in the spirit communication and mediumship. I just want to point out that he was talking about the U.S. I just want to bring this. I, I like his quote because he says, like, to, if you want to kill a dog, say it's rabid. Yeah. Now, I never heard that before. I never heard that. This is a common nope. thing. Yeah. But, but it, like, made a lot of sense because, you know, you have a lot of times um, when people want to, like, detract from something like spiritism or, or anything, they'll try to, like, make it, give it a disease or make it, like look bad, you know, so or anything they want to make it look bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I, 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 was, I was thinking about my co worker, I'm trying to do it. That's funny. We have that thing, he tries to like, he tries to make me look bad all the time, and uh, and so, like, I don't know, that was something like he's trying to make me the rabid dog, you know. So, <laughs> I just identify with that. So. You know, when we start looking at the Islamic terrorists and they seem crazy. I mean, they kill themselves. They strap a jacket around themselves, blow up innocent people, and then I started to relate that, the thinking that they, that these kids are going through, relating that to the spiritist is so certain now. I know I have become that way. That hey, this body is just a suit of clothes, and it's it's like they've accepted that. And to become yeah. insane. Yeah. You know, and it's, I didn't see it. a tremendous difference. Like, hey, I'm 92 years old. I'm not afraid to die. <laughs> you know, we always should say, uh, it's, it's okay. So I, I just try to put my my mind in, in, into the uh, Islamic terrorist. I understand. Yeah. So when these people say that, well, the. Uh, the spiritists are insane because they, it's the same thing. Right. 
it's not the norm. So right. It's not, yeah. If, if you so don't, don't set in the this norm. Is, this has been and you have normal. Really good say occurring to me. You know, I, so I, I try to understand who they are, what they are, what right. they're doing. What is this guy in North right. Korea doing? He's got a toy, uh, a nuclear bomb, you know, and a nuclear tear humanity apart. He may be thinking along those lines, too. You know, it's funny, too, is like, because we're, we're kind of getting off topic, but also, like, Alan Carter, and I don't know if it was in this section or the next section where he says, like, because of spiritism, we look at things from the big picture. It's in this session. And, I was going we, to talk about we, this. Go ahead. Yeah, we, we get to we get to see things from a different perspective. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And, uh, I mean, because I, I was thinking, like, when you were talking about the people, like the ISIS, they're not really religious extremists. I, I think, if I remember correct, that most of them are actually just hungry and they can't find work and they have, like, terrible economic conditions. And then, like, they're well paid if they join the military, you know, ISIS. So it's like, to them, that looks right. like a good... Right. So, you know, we have that kind of a, uh, we, not that we want to get into debate about terrorism or anything, right. but, you know, when we, when we step back and look at everything from a, from a big, from a larger perspective, right. and I don't really know, like, I can't say that I know, like, exactly what these guys are going through or right. exactly, like, Nobody what, what they learned yeah. in past lives and what they're here to do, right. but just because of, like, what I have learned about spiritism and reading, like, especially reading, like, I have read a lot of Andre Louise books. I kind of have some ideas like what they might be going through. Like maybe they're here to for this. Maybe they're here for that. So I, you know, right. it's hard. To, you don't want to right. judge somebody if you can't put yourself in their shoes. But right. but I have a lot of ideas. Yeah. <laughs> we we actually can continue this beautifully said what you said, and I was going to mention that we're gonna go into the next session, which is forgetfulness of the past. Right. Mm -hmm. And, okay, so just one thing before we close this, is the Kardec saying, saying that what Steve just said, that if, if any of this craziness that we are talking about, the spiritists, they try to look like beyond that, they could try to go beyond, to transcend the idea, the situation, and, and let's not confuse, he said, Let's not confuse pathological condition with the problem caused by obsessive spirits, what he was talking about. And then he was saying the spiritist doctrine offers the remedy for rather than causes of the problem. I agree with that, but I let you guys be free in your thoughts. Okay, so let's go to forgetfulness of the past. So the question, the first question that the, the skeptic uh, of does, it's a very common question, it's like, how can we benefit from this forgetfulness? We, we were just talking about last week in this group. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah we, Is that the goal of meditation? Forgetting the thoughts in the past <laughs> and those squirrel cage thoughts? Well, uh, in, the, in the Tao it says, <laughs> yeah. uh, every day, in the pursuit of knowledge, every day something is added. But in pursuit of the Tao, every day something is let go. So. Yeah. For a few years, well, but that's to, different than forget. I was trying yeah, to cultivate totally forgetfulness. <laughs> oh, you can actually do it if you if you keep trying. You can forget a lot of. Things. Lego is the be, It's a marvelous <laughs> thing. It is. Lego. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't even drink. I'm just forgetful, like naturally. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm <just> Silly. <laughs> I guess uh, the two ideas are connected because uh, as long as you can't remember. You don't have to deal with the let go of those things that you cannot mm -hmm. remember at that particular point. Mm -hmm. So, as you grow, uh, you are you become uh, more better equipped to deal with those things, and uh, you, you have better tools to let go of them. So, as you grow, you you're allowed to remember more things because you, you, because you can deal with them and you can uh, let go of them. So I guess there's a connection there. You know, Yenar is always trying to like tell me, because I, I think I, I gave a, a lecture and I said something about us being here to pay back our past debts. And she was like, this is like an old spiritist idea. And it's it's not true. Like, we're not here like for punishment. You know, I agree. Um, <laughs> even though last week we started reading Heaven and Hell, and the Spirit was saying, like, 
uh, he was here for punishment by God. But that was just that spirit's perspective. That's exactly you know, that, that, that wasn't really, he's conditioned. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, because we we have this idea that we're here to pay back our karma and to, right. and to do punishment, and and actually, I believe it actually says here like well, that's not what we're here for. You know, so I kind of have like something that kind of backs up. We always talk about expiation and, and I mean, trial. Par partially, it's true though, right? I like mean, a small, like a small part of it we, is, we is have that to, we have to learn lessons. But it, it's amazing. Like I do remember reading somewhere in the spirits book or somewhere that like once we make that turnaround like where we decide like i'm ready to change we don't have to pay back nearly like a s fraction the of, level like, of suffering like, the is that minimal based on how we handle it but <laughs> many what are you yeah. saying many i want to understand many well it's i mean i understand what he's saying is that we're not we're, our our only purpose of being put back on this earth you know over and over again is not for us to pay you know for our mistakes and you know, to you know, our bad karma, or however you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, a small, a, it's more than that. But a small, a small percent, like part of it, is still that. that there are still lessons. It's still we have to suffer, learn, you know? or the lesson we don't have. Not to necessarily learn. a suffering, but I mean, there's still, you know, not not suffering, but you are kind of. It's like a lesson that you miss, like in school, and you have to go back and take the class again. It's not necessarily a suffering, but it is, like. Right. Kind of a punishment, you know. Right. The, the it is a punishment for us because we didn't. I we we prefer to postpone the the lesson. We, we the learning. Punish, we punish ourselves. We, we punish ourselves. Yeah. 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 You missed the lesson. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't go. Or you yeah. weren't paying attention. Or something wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your punishment when you hang on to you get hooked on a thought. Yeah. You get hooked on an emotion. You get hooked on this physical body. Right. Right. You get hooked on. Yeah. That it's the way that we think because we gotta yeah. get over this thought that it's a punishment. Like for example, in Brazil, let me give you an example. In Brazil, to go to work, to have a job, it's a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, seriously, wow. no seriously, problem. it is. If you go, like, I, I lived in Europe, and the people they work with, with pleasure, you, you can tell they are so, like, committed to that. It's, it's beyond a job. Of course, there, there must be people that hate their job, but in Europe, they are so, like, more respectful with their job, the way that they treat their job. In Brazil, if they can't do anything to <laughs> to get out of, of the, the life of having a job, they want to get rich, they want to do nothing, they just want to yeah. go to the beach. Of course, I'm, I'm talking about a, 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 a thought, a, a mass thought, a thought of a mass. And I'm not talking about everybody's thought, but it, the, there is a culture that it is better if you don't work, if you don't go to school, if you do nothing. It is better if you are rich and you go to the party and you dance and it's true. So for us, it's still a punishment to come and reincarnate here. But for some spirits, there are elevated spirits. They come back because they love a few people and they come and they want to help a group of people. And it's because of love. If you read the book Nosso Lar, remember Andrea Luis's mother? She was not even living in Nosso Lar because she was way more advanced than him. And then she goes like, I am preparing, you know, to go back to Earth, reincarnate again. And I'm going to take those two ladies that were your father's uh, uh, lovers, lovers, and I'm going to have them as my child to love them with compassion, just to fix, try to fix everything. And the director said, Mom, are you crazy? These girls, because of these girls, the, our, my father is in this, how he is right now. She goes like, you know, Andrea, you got a lot to learn. Because that's not the way you, you teach someone. It's through love. So though, we will learn, we will reach a point that those things that we think, oh, I don't want to reincarnate anymore, or I don't want to go... We uh, don't want to be part of this group or this family. I want to help out with the yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in the kitchen. I, the <laughs> I have a question about that after reading that, that passage. So she's going to come back, and she doesn't remember the advances that she made, the elevation that she had. She's coming back, and this is a little baby with a uh, uh, clean slate. 
So how is she planning on uh, straightening out the uh, the two lovers that are wonderful? That's a wonderful question, but before I answer, I would like to open the, the round table. There is no table. <laughs> but what do you guys think? I think that the way I learned it from here was when we're preparing ourselves to re-enter re our next life, uh, we set an agenda with our with our mentor, and then once we set that agenda, then life unfolds in such a way, unbeknownst to us at the time, for ways for us to proceed forward. Where where the the situation comes to us now, we have a choice. Well, should I deal with this? These two sisters now they're mm. children. I guess what he's talking about, it's more like in her nature. If she forgot all that, how is she going to deal with that? Well, because we take we whatever we learn in the previous there you go in all the previous lives, we bring all of our knowledge and all of our everything. We we forget the individual instances where we may have might have killed somebody or committed terrible things. Whatever we've learned, whatever knowledge. We bring all of that with her, so she's brought her compassion, her desire to help, all of these things. So now when the situation comes up for her, because she probably has that inside of her, doesn't know why she has it inside of her, but she does, so now she's prepared to move forward with the preset agenda that she had prior to. The incarnation. That's she's such an elevated figure, she's got a good chance. No, that's it. In a way, it, yeah, I think it's. Say, sorry, I'm sorry, Steve, say again. Well, I mean, like, yeah, like uh, Andre Louise's mother was such an elevated spirit, too, that her odds are pretty good that she'll accomplish mission. Now, whether or not those two spirits she's bringing, like, they might hate her growing up. They might, they could go yeah. a lot of ways, but she's going to love yeah. them no matter what. Don't we see that? Don't we see parents that they do? They treat their kids with love, and they give all the best to their kids, and the kids turn them back and don't want and don't accept anything. I remember this uh, Chinese text text diver because they come from China and they work a lot, so many hours in San Francisco, and uh, you know, to because they have always have a big family. And he was telling me a story. He said, "You know, you don't, you will not believe what just happened to me." Can you believe I got this kid? He was like 16 years old, and he was living in a um, marina, in a mansion in a very high, like uh, expensive uh, neighborhood in San Francisco, marina. He was living in marina, that street, this street, and it is big mansion, this house. I picked him up, and I said, okay, where are we going? And he said, just anywhere. I'm going to live in the streets. And then the guy said, what? What are you saying? The Chinese got into the fight for him. What are you saying? He goes, yeah, I'm going to live in the street. I don't want to live with my parents. He stopped the car and said, do you know where I come from? I come from China. And I was very poor. And this and that. You're telling me you're going to live your house with everything that you have because you want to live in the street? I can't believe you. Get out of my car. Just get out of my car. <laughs> he, he was so mad. And he told me, it's just, that just happened to me. I am so mad, he said. And I was thinking, the parents that give all the best to their kids, and their kids... They have to find their own place. They're, yeah, they, they, they have, have to, to go. Yeah. So it, it, it is a trial. It is a trial for both of them. But, you know, as Steve was saying, that probably the kids will hate the... Her, but she will. They have to make their own mistakes. They, exactly. They have to find. They have to suffer, and, unfortunately, yeah. to find. At least they harmony. got the best support, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a good example. Of exactly. Yeah, yeah. How their mother will be like. That's it, part of learning. And they'll have a yeah. chance to learn from it. It's part of the divine plan. It was a sure. good plan. Yeah. 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 Perfect. They exactly. needed someone, you know, with yeah. a, a solid set of morals. And it's back to, to Stanley's question. Yeah. And he doesn't understand. He's so what's more examples. Right? I'll get into him in a minute. <laughs> But uh, Stanley, so so Donna, uh, I mean, I think she presented it perfectly, right? Yeah. So okay. all the all the moral uh, yeah. that we've mastered, we came with us. And so she she acted and and 
you know, as she walked through her life, she carried it, and that was how she acted, with love and compassion, all yeah. those things. There's she was able to show that to the children and get it, giving them a chance to leg up. Think of it that way, you know, because that was her mission, to help them, because they could have been, you know, Empathy is a big part of this, to be yeah. empathetic, yeah. To, yeah. to look at the perspective. But you're a good example for us. Yeah, yeah. Because, true, true. You know, uh, I wanted to throw out, you know, this is Stanley, and I make a joke, man, they've got a hundred year old guy here, that has the, the I am, and talks about love and, and compassion, and love and compassion, all this his whole life, right? And he asks a question like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he's a great example, I, I love this. No, but example. I love I'm this question. To him I love this question, but I so want to hear So how did you do it, right? So the question is, you know, I'm going to ask the same question. So how did you, you just, you just, you just I do don't it. remember. You don't, you're just doing it. <laughs> right, so good. So but keep doing it, right? Can you see? I want to add to my love. The, yeah, the <laughs> great. I add Let me just hear one because he has something to say. I oh, think no, it was no, based no. on what you said. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no, it was perfect. I was just gonna say that it's it's con I connected it to the predisposition that we were talking before. Uh, Wonderful. We were talking yeah. About madness, great connection. Uh, but there's predisposition. To great use, connection. Uh, yes. All the good spiritual qualities. Yeah. That's what we bring with that. Like Steve will figure out that. Right, isn't that what? Like Steve will figure out that. He says you're mad. No, I'm just kidding. But to add Scott, to the reason, yeah, right. Scott, <laughs> like his tip will figure out that his co-worker yeah. is an angel it's when good. he got, yeah, I'm, I mean, just this I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. There's a reason for that. It's but his last trial, man. To the point that you just said about the predisposition and that answer your question as far as she won't remember when she comes back because she set her agenda and like you said, she's got the predisposition. Well, the same thing holds true the two children that came into that position because they also, unbeknownst to them, had, had set their agenda to come into this situation. So they all, unbeknownst to any of them, had all set this all up before for these kids to learn whatever they had to learn now that they're kids and for her. So they all, nobody knows it, we don't remember it, at some point we may come to know it again, but they all, everybody set up their whole agenda to come in. And we all have that predisposition, so it's all working yes. out exactly the way it's supposed to. Yeah. Although it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, it's we so have hard. to we it's have to check it out. Details, you know, and through meditation and through self knowledge um, uh, uh, studies, you can find out the tendencies of your spirits. We all have a specific predominant tendency. And if we can figure out what it's what is uh, based on on that, we can on uh, meditation and self knowledge and self help. We can figure out our tendencies. You had a question. You said, "Oh no, I was the, I was oh. really going to just address that." But it's so cute what you said about Steve, about this this coworker of him. Yeah, it's very interesting. And the angel, no and then he got out of the body, and then he got an angel said. Steve, you know, I put an angel right there to teach you no, everything. There's no coincidence. No, but you're you're making a joke, but it's not a joke because that person is in his life for that particular reason. You know, I agree with you because let me tell Absolutely. my theory. My theory is that you know our friends they always say, "Oh, you are so nice. You are so cute. How are we gonna grow from that?" Right. You know. But if I am here, like Reggie. What are you doing, Reggie? What are you doing with your life? Yes. And then you get bothered, and it's like, why this person is treating me like this? This this person, I agree with you. We complain a lot about people that give us a hard time, but they have this mission, this hard, That's the hardest mission, from. to push our buttons, to make us think, and it's like, oh, oh, you know what? I'm angry. Oh, I didn't know I was so irritated. Oh. I am irritated. Oh, I am impatient too. And because of that, we will think we think about ourselves. But anyway. Yes, but the opposite is true as well. And I just <coughs> go to the example of uh, the, the two daughters here. Uh huh. And love that example. The mother. The, the beautiful thing about it is that the mother is going to be teaching them by example, mm -hmm. which is the, mm -hmm. I think we were talking about that yes. the other day, and, and the yep. other 
the, the only real way you can teach or learn by example. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. this case, it's a good example. It's one of those mm -hmm. nice, kind, uh, loving examples. So, yeah, but both could be true. Two examples in harmony. Uh, two ways to learn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it can get out of whack. It can, uh, you know, polyg polygamy, uh, anti Semitism, all these things that we think are normal. And other cultures are normal, so you have to kind of put yourself in that perspective. Otherwise, there's going to be wars. Hey, you've yeah. got to be like me. Exactly. As long as it's harmonious, even gays and all that whole concept of anti. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. That goes to the very end. Before I will say something, is uh, we, I think all of us, we already, we have read that. I don't know if we accept it or not. This is a, a particular issue that I'm not going to that because we decided at the end of the day what we want to uh, learn or what we accept mm -hmm. for ourselves. That's not the case here. Here is just a discussion. But uh, the reason why that's a very good thing for us that we forget our pain. Otherwise, we would go crazy and we would not be able to focus on our development. And that actually yeah. it's a great thing. And the other thing is we don't forget everything. I myself have, um, I remember a f some incarnations that were very painful, but I was able to remember. And I know a lot of people that are able to remember. And through meditation and through spiritual development and observing the spirits, they say this in the spirits book, you want to know what you have been doing in your past lives? Watch and observe what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. You will find all the tendencies of your spirits, inclinations, and you will understand what areas you were abusing in your life and what the other areas you were happy. So, you know, we, we, we got all the answers here. The, the uh, God's law is written in our conscience. And if we just... Uh, go in this path that we're going in right now, trying to learn more about ourselves and about spiritual life, we will reach that point. You want to say something? You know, I just Please. want to bring up one thing. Sure. Just because I love when we started this forgetfulness of the past. I'm sorry, that's what it's called in my book. I don't know. It's the same years. Forgetfulness <laughs> of the past. In, my, in the second sh section that we started reading. Today. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. The, the skeptic poses a question, and the first thing Alan Kardec says is, like, you're leading me to give you a complete course on spiritism, since every <laughs> objection you have raised from natural, you know, is, um, so with earnest study, um, you could have a much uh, fuller view of it. He said everything is connected to spiritism. And I've I just been noticing that, like, the last couple months that we've been doing this group. Every time we raise a question, it's like, the only way to really answer answer these questions is to like talk about every little facet of spiritism, like every little thing, and it's really hard to, it's really hard. to stay on a topic and sort yeah. of address something. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, when I started yeah. coming to the meetings here, like, I just kind of kept my mouth shut because I was like, I don't know what these people are talking about, but I got, this, <laughs> I, got you, spirit, I got the spirits book, not about a year and a half ago. I should probably oh, keep okay. my mouth shut now more, but, <laughs> <you know? laughs> but but I, I was, so I, I just dove into the book and started reading everything. And I was uh -huh. like, because I want to kind of know what they're talking about. Uh -huh. I, it kind of became more and more clear and more studying I did. So I, I just kind of like the fact that he says that. Because I think he actually says it more than once in this chapter. Right. So yes, it, you're in right. In order for me to answer your question, yeah. I kind of have to get into everything. And we don't have time to get into everything yeah. Yeah. right now. So, yeah. I mean. Okay. So going back to the point what Reggie was talking about. So in the last paragraph here of the second session, uh, the section, the uh, Kardec says, according to the higher order spirits, in worlds where good rules, the situation is different. There, uh, there remembers, uh, remembers of the past is not painful. Inhabitants are able to remember previous existences, just as we recall what we did yesterday. The, remembers, the remembrance of what they did in the past comes to them just like any other distant thought. And we will get to the point, as you said, it's going to be something harmonious. harmonious. And it's going to be okay for us. But right now, right now, if, if someone shows up right here and says, Sincha, 
I'll give you the chance to remember your past. I was going to say 50, but no. I will give you the chance to remember your past five lives. Do you want? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, we no. just to finish some of the, how, how dramatic, you know, some of the divine plans are for families, right? Uh, and you can learn this here through, through lectures over time. Uh, you know, there'll be someone who, who killed someone, and that someone would end up being the child of the one who was killed. So the one who has to take care of that the spirit who took their life and another life. Literally, it could be within a few lives, like that, uh, instances of their reincarnation. It could be in the same study um, group together. And it, 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 this, <laughs> there you go. And so these are the kind of things that happen. And because the dynamics of that is great for trial and expiation and learning, you know, and moving past that, that next level of morality. That's how dramatic it can be. But think about how extreme that is, but then how, how potent in, in, you know, moving forward with ascension. It could be as well. But but a situation like that, who chooses the position? Like let's say I killed someone, and then in the next life that person's my child. Who chose that situation, that setup? Did the, the higher evolved? Well, that's a good question. You know, I'll chose that. Did you just get a little bit more research? But we have great question. Answer to that. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I choose my parents to birth me. Like I chose the situation. I answer to that. What do you want it to be? But before so they didn't choose. They before I answer to that. Who would you like to answer to Mary's yeah, question? So I don't have the answer to that. I'm Who would you like to answer then? Um, uh, I have Donna? a general answer, but I would like maybe some Donna, deeper can, answers. But. Can we listen first to Donna? Because so she got the coordinated I might be wrong. Please, but please. But what, I, what I've come to learn, and help me if I'm wrong, because it's been guiding me, <laughs> but we all, we, all, we all chose before we came. So the parents came. The, kid, the, the parents chose this existence, the kids chose that existence. Now, I have a problem with my son. Doesn't want to work, doesn't believe in, let's not get it all, but has, has anything that has to do with any, any authority at all, if, a, any position of authority, including a job or any of that, totally doesn't want to know about any of it. So anytime I say to him, listen, you chose your situation. I chose my situation. I chose to be your mother. You chose me for your mother. We all chose. It. I know that. I know that. I don't want to think about that right we'll now. Say, I know I chose that. your mother. <laughs> I know. I know I chose you. I know you chose. It'll I don't want to hear that. I just want to know why everybody else is. A, well, then you might want to ask yourself, why did you choose this scenario? Because you're here. Because you chose it. Right. Yeah. Well, well, at least remember, at least you were brave to right. say that. So, uh, okay. No, I understand. It's more of it's, it's not just one. It's just more like a mutual kind of. It is, and it is beneficial to everyone in yes. the situation. Yes. So what happens is, of course, there is a a period of time, and this is also science today. You know, like between life, the school of Michael Newton. It's uh, there are professionals, hypnotists that search into that period of the life of the spirit that was in that time that was between incarnate reincarnation so there are a lot of a, a lot of things involved that what we hear from the spirits and from the 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 books that we hear we tell stories of the you know all this saga of the spirits and their story of their lives is that the majority is still not choosing we are choosing some of us, we are choosing to come here. So we usually, we are very rebel, resistant to the development, our progress. So what happens sometimes, we, we are put in this situation here and we suffer a lot because we didn't want to come, but then the law of action and reaction knocks our door. But usually we, when it's that case specific that you said, the person, it's in that uh, state of repentance. Repent, repentance. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Repentance. Jesus, repentance. Right? Thank you. And saying, you know, I have killed Stanley, and I, I regret, and I want to come back, and I want to relearn. 
do the same thing different and relearn how to love him and uh, and then there is this awkward relationship and both of them don't know what's going on right but usually when it's something is specific and some spirits they ask to go through the exact same thing that they put the other like if they killed someone they ask to be killed it's not it's not there is no law like that but they are so like that their guilt is so heavy that they say no i only accept this trial if i die exactly the same way we 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 read the, those stories there are some but it's not necessary this is our belief this is our conscience judging creating this heaven and hell that we insist in creating the heaven and hell and that god god punishes us this is just we create this I just it just came to me now it just seems like are we leaders or followers it's just if right. we're followers we're going to follow somebody's beliefs so basically yes. you go through lifetimes to become leaders that's a good point point. and you're going to manifest you're going to yeah, you're, so you're going to bring out the god within you yeah there are a lot of lead. people that are in, reincarnated here that still living the life of uh, a, a, a past life like number 10 before this one it's not here yet it's fighting for the same causes, the same repeating the same behavior, repeating the same thought, repeating, repeating, and it's rebel. Like for example, you're talking about I'm not gonna say that person that person it's very rebel, like resisting and it's not trying to improve. Improve. Yeah. So it's trying to resist, but be patient because one day and this would day, and this day will come. Trust, be, be, have some hope that it will be just like us that we are here and say, I don't care about going out to the bar right now or anywhere. I want to know what's going on in here. It's finding your personal passion. Yes. Too. So you might want to yes. throw some seeds. Just give him more and more yes. things to do or Very. something. Throw ideas out there. Yes. Maybe something will hook. And light, yes. yes. Candies and cookies might be oh, yeah, I got all that. I understand all Just that. Just keep throwing it at him. Then say that, something else. But I don't want to, you know. But they well, say something be else. Positive. Be, positive. Yeah. be positive. Yes. Be positive. Yes. Be positive and encouraging. Yes. And try to... Uh, then show something that he's interested without having to say that all the time because imagine if I am rebel and I got someone saying to me that I am responsible for being a rebel and you know that will aggravate yes. but then try something else but don't lose your hope because uh, if he is here it's already a big deal Sometimes we look at someone and we say, what a waste of reincarnation. Mm -hmm. For us, we lack information. We don't have all the information. You don't know if in his past life he was a terrorist. And right now what he's doing is a saint in comparison. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't, we don't know. We got to be patient. And we all have our uh, opportunities. We all, we all have support. Everybody in here. We are not better than anyone, and we all have support. So it, it's very hard for me to talk to him because yeah, he's I imagine. angry all the time. I imagine. Like, yeah, I mean, it is hard. Sometimes I don't even know what to say. I don't, sometimes I don't we see, like for example, thinking about help, thinking yeah. about the terrorists or those that are creating wars uh, just because of their personal interests. We say, what a waste of reincarnation. No. We don't know. And if we are registered in this school called Earth, it is because we have connection with them. Even though it's a terrorist, even though it's a, you know, a, a war uh, generator, we have a connection with them. So we got to pray for them, for everyone. Let's go to the next phase and you want to close yeah, yeah let's just uh, okay. I don't know if we have any announcements before we close I want to say there's going to be a great lecture tomorrow night uh, oh yeah Steve is going to be tomorrow night the professional yeah. spiritist yeah okay <laughs> who's so, speaking what's the topic Steve 
<laughs> what is the topic? That's why it's going to be so good. The laboratory of the invisible world. Do you have an elevator like speech pitch, pitch for this? Uh, for us? It's a oh, it's yeah, a it's a study on the universal cosmic fluid. Ooh. So pretty, pretty it's deep. basically like it's it's oh about my everything. gosh. Wow, I'll be here. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> it, even if it's not, if it's not good, at least it'll be interesting. So I can tell you that. I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay. And what time is that? What time is that? It's it's some, that's tomorrow at eight. Eight fifteen. And we'll be broadcasting live on Facebook. Yes. yes. Broadcasting, broadcasting live. And yes, uh, as usual. And um, that's why you can find the videos there. And so if we can't make it, we can go to the yeah, exactly. But then come to get the magnetic passes. Yeah, because it's really good. And don't forget to bring your water. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and we also have no, they have meditation the up here at seven o'clock on Tuesday. Hold on, hold on, so hold on. We wait. Okay, so we have. Go ahead. We have meditation here seven o'clock on Tuesdays. Yes. Which is not broadcast live on Facebook, so you have to be here at Brown Society. Yes. Um, we have a Facebook page. Nice. We have a WhatsApp group. If anybody wants to know, like what we're reading. We always publish it on the WhatsApp group. Yeah. That's and mailing list too. We have a mailing list. Where do we find this place? You just gotta like let us know and we can add you. Yeah. On yeah. WhatsApp or Meetup. You, you can, can find us on Meetup. Message us on Facebook. And you can uh, message us on Facebook and also the, what is the other one? Meetup. Oh, well, uh, the email. Email. The email. Yeah, we have email. That's yeah. Everything. Don't forget Wednesdays. So always lectures in English. That's true. You will find us wanna, here on Wednesday. I want to go back in time. Um, that are the original English meetings here at the center, I know because I was there, uh -huh. there was four of us, and it wasn't we quite big enough to make a circle, so we kind of had a semicircle, and it grew, and it grew, yeah. and it grew. And now our Wednesdays can fill, some days can fill uh, the entire collection areas. Yeah, those weren't the original. They were one. It was original for you. It was. It's been going on a lot longer than yeah, we can remember. Night Canyon was four. <laughs> right, and I was right. one of the four. That means three others. Wow. We have a speaker, ways. which means two others. But not okay. So that was a big deal for me to be part of a group that intimate. Um, it had dwindled down. It had to it, grow it, it to, to you know, 10 to 20 to 30 when people. When, come when you empower other people, they'll come. And it was, uh, they'll Thank come you, Reggie. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. yeah Donald, Absolutely. Donald. But that wasn't an original. That was yeah. it had its ebbs and flows. Yeah. And it had okay. ebbed down a little and now it's going back up again, which is really fabulous. Okay, Steve, you can close. All right. Mm. Yeah.